We are just above the Horseshoe Pass on Maeserachin Mountain, at the end of a range of hills that run from Prestatyn on the north coast of Wales. Below us in the valley of the river Dwerdwy, or the D in English, lies the town of Llangollen. As we descend the Horseshoe Pass towards Llangollen, we pass the hauntingly beautiful ruins of the Valle Crucis Abbey. The remoteness of the location in medieval times ideally suited the austere Cistercian monks. Valle Crucis, the Valley of the Cross, is so named after the 9th century stone cross nearby. Llangollen is the home of the annual International Musical Ice Edward. Since 1947, for one week in July every year, Around 5,000 competitors and up to 50,000 visitors descend on the small town for a feast of music and dance from all over the world. In 1955, the teenage Luciano Pavarotti travelled from Modena in Italy to compete with his father's male voice choir. Needless to say, they won. World famous stars who have graced the final evening concert in the pavilion include Placido Domingo, Kiri Tekenawa, Montserrat Caballe and Wales' own Bryn Terwyll and Dennis O'Neill. But that's not why I've brought you here. What I would like to show you was created by the labour and sweat of Welshmen, but was born of the imagination of a Scotsman. Few have left such an aesthetic mark of the Welsh landscape as Thomas Telford, and just a couple of miles downstream at the village of Ron Cysylltau is his masterpiece. The first stone of the Pont Cysylltau aqueduct was laid on July the 25th, 1795. It was opened 10 years later on the 26th of November, 1805, amid great ceremony and in the presence of 8,000 people. During the ceremony, a flotilla of six barges passed along the aqueduct, carrying dignitaries, the local nobility, a brass band, and of course the engineers who built it. The last two barges carried coal to symbolize its future purpose. The total cost of the aqueduct was 47,000 pounds. The aqueduct has 18 tapered piers made of local stone, rising to a height of 126 feet atop of which are 19 cast iron arches, each with a span of 45 feet. 
the bridge section is made of the new wonder construction material of the time, cast iron, and is a thousand and seven feet long, 11 foot wide and five foot deep. All the mortar used in its construction comprised of lime, water and oxen blood. But all these specifications, whilst interesting, convey nothing of the beauty and gracefulness of the aqueduct. And in 2009, it could join the ranks of the Great Wall of China as a World Heritage Site. Like most things of beauty, the aqueduct is not without its sadness. It was built in a time when all the lifting of the heavy masonry and the huge sections of cast iron work to precarious heights had to be done manually. This was not without its dangers. Many paid the ultimate price for Telford's masterpiece. It is said that a white figure is seen to cross the aqueduct at night. It is the ghost of one of the men who fell to their deaths during the building. All he wants to do is to get to the other side. So don't hinder him, let him pass. And no harm will befall you.